rise, 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 rise. Yeah, it's not. Two, that's why I'm not worried about him. Uh, like game. I'm worried about Celeste. Though, I'm gonna have four thirty kind of minutes. Yeah, but I can I can hit uh, yeah, Celeste yeah, yeah. in my yeah, roots. Really, and just root him up. Chat. Root him up. Chat. Nope. You guys have any close door room? Hi, Bernard. Oh. What's the OP? Oh yeah. What's the OP? Good, what? Are you a good jungler? Um, can you write it on the other side as big as possible? Oh, as big as possible. Okay, you got it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Or give the game, yo, give, give, give the game face. Give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gabe. Yeah. I absolutely love the city. I think it's a beautiful city. Uh, I've always wanted to be here, and this is the first time I've actually gotten to get here. So I'm really happy to be here. Hopefully, I get to explore some more sometime. I think the venue is really pretty. Like they did a great job setting up the arena area. Um, I really like the Avalon down in Hollywood, uh, but I think this one's gonna blow it out of the water. I would definitely say I'm looking forward to meeting my like fans, my ghouls and ghoulettes for my stream. Like that's really one of my priorities here. Definitely. So how we've been preparing, we usually do a group meeting and we go over some footage and then we usually scrim for a couple hours. My experience in Seattle has been really good. I think the weather is great here and I just like the city and like the places that we've been to. It's just a really nice place. Every team has a shot of winning it this time around and I'm feeling really confident going into this live finals. What it's like being a pro player is like you have a schedule, you have your pra team practices, you have scrims, you have going over your drafts and and your gameplay, always constantly looking over them with coaches, analysts. It's, it's not as easy as some people may think. It's a lot of hard work, but it's really rewarding. Being a part of Team Phoenix, I have a distribution of like many assets to the org. Like, I have the uh, ability to talk with coaches, analysts, our sister team that's a really strong team that's also in the Evil 8 right now in the live championships. Um, it just it's, it's like a family over here, it's like pretty much how it was in Liberation. I think everyone's really friendly over here and I get along with all of them. Seattle for me has been pretty cool. Um, got to see a bunch of uh, people I've seen in the past live events. Um, got to just mess around, just hang out with friends, and you know, just just play Bangalore with them and just chill. We have the momentum now. We have momentum now. Oh my goodness! Yo, really where did Barger got that snipe? Dude, uh, that snipe was crazy on Zeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got so got you got that kill. You got that kill. Oh my goodness! So, all of us in the crowd were just like, "That's so unlucky." Humanist was like, "So unlucky." <laughs> dude, a lot of a lot of like, uh, we got triple stuns. I got like, dude, I got a lot of triple stuns. That stuns one fight. And school guards and dodge like a couple fights that like really obliterated the team. All right, we need to talk. All right, this is really important though. Draft. I'm most looking forward. 
forward to just meeting, you know, all the other players from the other teams. You know, I consider a lot of them like close friends of mine. So just being able to see them when these live events comes around is really, uh, it's really nice. Being a part of Team Phoenix is great. Um, they have a lot of professional staff and stuff like that. They have a lot of analysts, a lot of coaching. They have a lot of, um, you know, they just have a lot of resources at the player's disposal, and that makes it, you know, a lot easier on the players to not have to do everything themselves. So it's 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 very nice. You know, we have a lot of support as players, and uh, we have a lot of people that are like behind us and help us uh, get good. Pretty much from the moment we wake up to the to the like the moment we sleep, um, we've been preparing for these matches by just going over scrims, go, uh, going over like uh, the vods of the gameplay, um, doing scrims, going over draft, just talking about like certain um, certain strategies like while you're in game. An average day. Um, you sleep at like 3 a.m. You <laughs> you wake up in the morning uh, very early. Uh, you do some scrims, maybe. You go over you go over draft for sure. You go over draft uh, pretty much almost every morning on the way to on the way uh, to the tour, to the venue. You go over draft and then you have lunch. You do more scrims. Um, you watch other uh, watch other games that other teams are playing. You take notes, take mental notes, take whatever. Then um, you just prepare for your own game. And then after that, once you play your game, you go back to the hotel. You watch the vods of your gameplay. Uh, discuss with your with your teams um, certain things like what to change, like stuff that they could do to improve their gameplay. And then just go back to scrimming. And then right before you go to sleep, go over draft one more time. Sardine's over sending in land, dude. He's gonna get ganked. This is the f- Yeah, dude. This is gonna fall. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh. 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 There's no way you're gonna put that bottom with you super strong. You gotta do it so hard. Yeah, Probably you're the only one that you do it with your, uh, your rocket finger.